Damn, a fan, holy sh Hey everyone, it's Dragon here, back with another video. And today, today, we are going to be looking at top 10 things you may or may not have known about Arc Mobile. Now, keep in mind, you may have known pretty much all of these things, but I'm speaking off of personal experience. I did not understand these things for a while, and I'm not going to say I did, because I didn't. But yeah, this video is targeted to people who actually have not known on any of these things, or most of these things. You might find something new while watching this video, you never know. But yeah, some of these things might be common knowledge, but to some it may not be. So, as you can see guys, we're here in my beautiful greenhouse. Doesn't it look beautiful? I have all my plants going on here. I did get a lot of snake plant seeds from the dungeon a few weeks ago, and I'm really liking all of this potent dust I'm getting from them. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, anyway, anyway, if you guys hear a fan throughout this video, um, it's probably because, well, well, there is, there is a heater. Again, um, I can't really do anything about that. However, it, it is there and yeah, it, it just wants to be included, okay? That, that, that's it. Let's, let's get into the video. All right, top 10 things you may or may not have known about Arc Mobile. Number 10 on the list, unicorns give a mutation boost when you are near hatching eggs. So if you place a unicorn near one of your eggs that are going to hatch, you have a higher chance of getting twins or mutations, anything you can imagine. It's basically a pheromone, except not. It's a little bit worse than a pheromone, but it still helps you. So if you have super fertilized eggs and a unicorn, you're set. You're absolutely set. And a lot of people don't know that, but it's actually something very, very, very useful to know. Number nine on the list, lesser antidotes make Trudon's torpor ineffective. So if you're in the dungeon and you need to get into the Trudon room and you really don't want the torpor to be affecting you, all you have to do is drink a lesser antidote before you enter and the torpor will not work. You will only get the damage. So make sure you do that before you go in the dungeon. Makes that room a lot easier. Number eight, dying bases makes them laggier. So a lot of people don't know this and I'm very surprised because this is something that is pretty, pretty easy to figure out. But basically things that are dyed render in faster. So if you have a huge base that's dyed a bunch of different colors and you're trying to fly over it or whatever, you will crash or you will lag. And the more bases that are like this, the laggier your server becomes and the harder it is to transport things or travel around the map. So you might wanna manage that if you have a dyed base or if you've noticed a lot of them in your server. Number seven, you can get more organic polymer when harvesting penguins with a Pelagornis. Pelagornises are these little penguin, no, that is what a penguin is. A penguin is a penguin. A Pelagornis is a seagull, looks like a seagull. And it's really cool, it's really underrated, and I really didn't know the use for it until recently. And the use for it just happens to be that you can get more polymer, organic polymer from them when you're harvesting penguins with it. Just stop it, Tom! Number six, you can apply poop and unicorn poop to notes to make them different. So if you apply poop to a note, it'll become a smelly note. And if you apply rainbow unicorn poop to a note, it'll become a rainbow note. Now it doesn't really do anything, not necessarily, but it's really cool. And it's something that's a little nice Easter egg inside of the game that a lot of people don't know about. And it's really cool. So you should do that if you're gonna send things to people you like or don't like, really depends. Number five, now this is something a lot of players do know, but for those of you who are new to the game or may not have known this, dung beetles work way better than compost bins when you need fertilizer. So fertilizer and compost bins are very difficult. It takes 40 minutes for one and you need a bunch of thatch and just, it's not very efficient. But dung beetles, you really just need to place poop in its inventory, leave it on wandering and it will make a lot of fertilizer for you. So it's a lot easier to have dung beetles the way you can get dung beetles is through the dungeon or through caves. You can feed it by passively with spoiled meat and it will tame. So make sure to grab yourself some of those, put a cone of shame on it for the weight buff or a gold chain, and you will have yourself a lot of fertilizer in no time. Number four, you can get an eerie candy blueprint. 
So a lot of people don't know this, but Eerie Candy is really useful. So you can eat Eerie Candy and you have a chance to lay an egg of any kind, see rainbow everywhere for a certain amount of time, or your entire body changes a different color. If you're wondering, that's how I got my color on my art characters, eating Eerie Candy until I get randomly the color that I would like. So to get this blueprint, what you have to do is you have to fish a giant whale. And when you fish this whale and tame it, it will give you the blueprint, which is really, 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 really useful. You can actually get three Eerie Candy per 10 Amber and a little bit of Potent Dust and a little bit of Unicorn Poop just with this blueprint. And it's a lot cheaper than buying it from the store. So you might want to invest in this. Number three, you can get soap to make things you dyed normal again. So for an example, if you dyed something yellow when you didn't want it to be yellow, all you have to do is apply it to a paintbrush. I don't think it works with a spray bottle and tap the thing that you want to be normal again and boom, it'll be normal again. You don't need to like get a whole new wall. It's beautiful. It even works for like armor. If you don't like the armor color you chose, you can always just put soap on it and it'll be normal again. Number two, if you feed a Fiomia stim berries in med with medjo berries in its inventory, it will poop a lot. So this is also common knowledge to some, but there also might be a few people who don't know this. You can actually feed a bunch of Fiomias, a bunch of stim berries, make sure there's medjo berry in its inventory, and it will poop a lot. And it's a lot easier to get poop than going around the island getting poop or going around to your friend's bases or your base to gather a bunch of poop. So much easier. Highly, highly recommend this. And number one, if you admin level a griffin when it is a baby, its speed will increase a little more than normal. So max speed regularly on griffins is about 201. However, it will be 240 something, I think 241 after you put a gold chain or a bandana on it. But when you admin level it when it's a baby, only works when it's a baby and before you imprint it, because it has to have that imprint boost, then what will happen is the griffin will have 260 speed with a gold chain or a bandana and it will have about 212 speed when it doesn't have that so you might want to do that if you're an admin in a server or if you can get an admin to do it for you that's also great anyway guys we're back in the greenhouse for the outro um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video of course if you did enjoy do not forget to comment like and subscribe Especially if you learn something new because you know this channel is right here for you if you need to learn something new. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.